Hey everybody, uh, it's the Crypto Anarchist here again, and so I'm bringing you guys another video on cryptocurrency. So just to begin with, I wanted to talk about uh, a couple cryptocurrencies that I called out real recently that I thought were going to do really well. First one was Zcoin. Zcoin has more than doubled in price since I called it out. Um, it's for a long time been my favorite cryptocurrency, my favorite altcoin, my favorite low cap altcoin. Um, it's still very low cap for where it could go. Uh, I'm hoping for a short term correction so I can buy it in at a lower price again. I want to increase my holdings, but you know, it's just more than doubled in price recently, so I expect a short term correction. Now, if we look at uh, Pivix here, Pivix is having a bit of a correction if you look at its short term. Uh, you know, since basically October or a little before October, it basically like doubled in value and it's been, ex been experiencing. It, it's been experienced a short-term correction since then. Well, the one thing uh, that I see coming out that could really be big for Pivx is the uh, Lightning Network that Bitcoin is coming out with. So the Lightning Network, you know, again, I think this is really big for proof-of-stake cryptocurrencies, and we'll go ahead and talk about that a little bit more. But what this video is actually about is a comment that a user made on one of my videos recently. It was a very good comment, and this is, you know, this is what... Uh, you have to understand in order to understand Bitcoin Cash. And the comment he made is, won't uh, lightning channels created on Bitcoin Cash also, um, won't they also reduce the security of the network in the same way that the Bitcoin SegWit's lightning network does, uh, or the way that I'm saying that Bitcoin SegWit's lightning network does? Because if you're doing transactions off the blockchain, you're not paying a fee for those uh, until it clears on the blockchain, and uh, so won't that lower the security on Bitcoin Cash's blockchain? And the answer is, no, it won't reduce security on the network, but yes, off-blockchain transactions will have lower security. This is a fact no matter what cryptocurrency you use. So you have to know when you're tra doing transactions off the blockchain using a Lightning Network, and part of the reason why I don't like Bitcoin SegWit's Lightning Network is it sort of pushes you into using the Lightning Network in order to avoid massive fees. So, like, that's an issue because you lose the security of the network when you go off the blockchain. But the reason why I don't mind Bitcoin Cash's off blockchain transactions is there's a lot of limiting factors to whether or not they will be useful. And for every channel you create, you do pay a fee. So, when you when you understand a Lightning channel as a, opposed to the Lightning Network, all you have to understand is that you lock certain states of the blockchain. So basically what you're doing with uh, you know, a lightning streaming channel, uh, you're locking up a transaction on the blockchain and you're saying we're not going to publish this transaction or we're not going to validate this transaction until a, you know, let's say it's three months in the future. So when we're talking about a lightning channel, you know the transaction is going to be broadcast to the lightning network and the way it happens is with each new transaction you make off the blockchain, you just send uh, evidence of both sides of the transaction to both users so that if something goes wrong you know they can offer up proof and be like this is the last transaction this is the one we're going with and everyone can you know help them validate that so um, the thing with the lightning channels on the Bitcoin cash network is that uh, you're actually locking up your money in there for that specified period of time. And again, you lock up your money in that specified period of time as, you know, that protects you from the other person not cooperating. So if the other person doesn't cooperate, you know, let's say you're using a streaming account, like I said before, that it clears on the blockchain every three months, uh, then that person would simply just have to wait three months until uh, they would you know, actually receive that payment. So there is a loss in terms of opportunity cost for using Bitcoin Cash's Lightning Network. So there's not there's a loss in opportunity cost, and then obviously, you know, if someone tries to screw you, screw you over off the blockchain, it's going to take three months. At you know, it could take three months. It might take less if you're closer to the, the transaction time, but it could take up to three months for that transaction to clear. So there are a lot of things that are going to be pushing you not to use the Bitcoin Cash lightning uh, channels and now I'm not saying they won't be used I'm just saying you know you can lock up money for quite a period of time and so you know there's a reason for people to want to clear their transactions there's a reason for people to want to clear their transactions early and again with Bitcoin cash you have low fees so it's not a big issue clearing transactions um, with Bitcoin SegWit on the other hand uh, what you have is uh, 
you will actually have uh, other people who watch your channels and they'll be, they'll be able to basically watch over all the channels that connect all the users and so you don't actually pay a fee for each new channel you use and so that's the issue is that with segregated witness you always want to be using the lightning network like you want to use the normal network as like as as little as possible you have no incentive to use the normal network because fees are very high and you just want to stay off that because once you clear your transaction you have to pay the fee so you just want to avoid that you want to do everything on the lightning network and again there are security issues with doing off blockchain transactions because until it clears on the network you know you don't get the security of the network itself you don't get the security of the blockchain so that's one of the issues with segregated witness and again this is if you go to uh, the lightning the people who are doing the lightning network if you go to their answer on is segregated witness necessary to implement the lightning network um, the, the qu correct answer to this is no so like the only reason segregated witness is here and they don't say no but all all that you do with segregated witness is you don't like you don't both have to be on the network so with se without segregated witness with each new lightning channel you need two nodes to connect to to make this lightning channel so you need two nodes so that's one fee per channel that's why the one fee per channel like that's why it exists with segregated witness other people can be like they can set up and run your channel so you don't need to have a node yourself um, well you, you might have to have a node eventually but you can share their channel so to start a new channel you don't need to have it like you don't need to create a channel uh, the other thing with segregated witness is that this next one is that you don't like usually again you have to monitor the channel yourself your node has to monitor it so again this is why each channel needs a node uh, in order to make sure people don't try to defraud them uh, and so with say seg with segregated witness you don't need it um, and then the, the final thing that segregated witness does is there's a malleability fix in it and now a lot of people say you need to fix malleability to, in order to get lightning uh, I don't know if you need to fix malleability in order to get lightning channels I think you do to some extent because if someone malle like does a malleability attack on a lightning channel like on a transaction in a lightning channel I think that locks up the funds until the time runs out or they can do that it's called a hostage attack something like that but anyways I'm not going to go into that here but uh, you can fix malleability without lightning the one person who I would really push you guys to listen to is this guy right here uh, this is the video uh, that you want to look up Bitcoin lightning and streaming money um, this is Andreas Antonopoulos the lighting wasn't that great to get a really good picture I tried to get a good picture of him I really like the guy um, he's one of the best I guess you could say non-authority authority figures in uh, in the Bitcoin world so uh, this video he really goes in depth on explaining the lightning network and he actually explains the different levels he doesn't talk about them as the levels but he goes through level 2 and level 3 I think he also goes through level 1 level 1 lightning is not really useful so I don't even remember what it is um, but level 2 is the lightning channels level 3 is the lightning network um, and so I actually like if you look at this slide here real quick if you want to search through the video quickly to get the part of the speech you want 345 to 624 is Bitcoin cash the lightning channels um, it's about this you might want to watch it from the start if you because it's really only 10 minutes where, where he's talking about Bitcoin lightning the rest of the video is him answering questions but 345 to 624 is about uh, Bitcoin Cash's lightning channels and in this part all he talks about is him paying uh, you know buying drinks at a bar and he's opened up a streaming account because he only wants to pay one fee for the transaction and so he talks about how he clears his transaction uh, he clears his transaction uh, or when he's done with his transaction he f he clears the channel and pays a fee okay so he says he opens a tab at a bar because that's all a lightning channel is when you're streaming money it's just an extended payment it's like we're not it's a payment where you say we're not finished yet okay so that's why I say when one fee per per channel like that's that's a good system because a streaming like a stream even though there's multiple transactions on a streaming payment it's just like a tab at a bar you only pay once so why would you pay multiple fees if you only pay once so that's all like I know it seems like I the critique where I say Bitcoin SegWit 
is uh, less secure would also apply to Bitcoin Cash, but it's not, and it's because a streaming payment, it's just an ongoing transaction. It's just a transaction you have started, and you want like proof that you've started so that you can keep track of where you are now as opposed to where you started from, but the transaction is not finished yet. So 345 to 624, he talks about the Bitcoin Cash Lightning channels again. It's just his tab that he has open with a bar. Um, but at 625, he starts talking about what becomes possible when you introduce SegWit. Now, with SegWit, you can use other people's channels. Okay, You don't have to be the witness yourself. That's like sort of what it stands for, segregated witness. I don't really remember exactly why e like each word was chosen. But with SegWit, you can have somebody else be the witness for your transaction, so you can have... Like other, you don't have to run the node yourself, and you don't have to close your train. Like, you don't have to open up a new channel for each streaming uh, payment that you use. So, this is where he starts talking about in 6:25 to 10. Uh, he also does a bet with his buddy when he's playing pool, and he loses the bet. And so, um, his buddy, like, rather than ha open up a new Lightning stream or a you know, rather than do a new transaction on the Bitcoin network uh, where he would pay his buddy, in this situation, he instead, like he knows his buddy owes the bar, and so he pays the bar, and so he closes his one lightning stream, and he closes two transactions on the blockchain, or on the blockchain, even though it's represented only by one transaction, his payment to his buddy. So again, these when I say two transactions, I mean two relationships with two other users. So he has made a payment to his buddy and made a payment to the bar even though he has only done one fee on the network and that's my issue with Bitcoin SegWit okay you can close multiple transactions through the lightning network um, but uh, they like it's only one transaction on the blockchain and so you only pay one fee for it could be hundreds to even thousands of transactions and these aren't thousands of like single you know open-ended transactions it's not thousands of streaming chan or or it's not a thousands of streaming payments because again a stream is just an open-ended transaction that you haven't finished yet so you only pay once for these streaming things this is two streams he's closed two streams because he shares channels uh, so he closes two streams for one transaction on the network and that's what Bitcoin SegWit can do and that's my issue with it as far as the security goes so with Bitcoin Cash in the Bitcoin Cash scenario if you can have a tab open with the bar but once you close it it's closed like you can't also you know pay for your friend or pay your friend and pay his bar tab too um, you don't have that interoperability I guess so for in the example you would have to pay your friend for the transaction that you do for Bitcoin cash for the level 2 lightning channels because you you both already have nodes you know so there's no there's no uh, I guess there's no clearing two transactions on Bitcoin cash without opening a new channel. And again, if you're actually using Bitcoin Cash in the bar scenario that Andreas talks about, you would just pay with Bitcoin Cash normally because that's safer. Uh, you only open a streaming channel if you're going to pay them multiple times. So unless you plan on losing money to your friend multiple times at pool, you wouldn't have a streaming channel open with them. Although if you do already have, like, let's say this is a common occurrence with you and your friend, that you go to bars and you bet, like maybe you just bet on bullshit for low amounts of money, because in this example he talks about a five euro bet, not a, not a huge amount, so maybe you bet on bullshit all the time. So maybe you do already have a streaming channel open with your buddy, and so you technically speaking aren't paying a fee on this transaction that you use, you know, gambling with your buddy because you have a streaming channel open that's your gambling channel. So this is what I'm talking about. like. Uh, you know, Bitcoin Cash, even though you're paying a transaction fee per channel, you can still set up fee or channels in such a way that you get very similar uh, fee reduction sizes. It won't be as much as Bitcoin SegWit, that's true. There's always going to be more fees in Bitcoin Cash than Bitcoin SegWit, but the fee, like, if you already have a streaming channel opened up with the bar and with your buddy, like, you're not paying fees on every one of these transactions. So it's, it's very similar, but because you have a different channel with each person, and every time one of these channels closes, is you pay a fee you know there are more fees going to the miners and this does mean you have one fee per transaction because again all a lightning transaction is is it's an open-ended transaction so I hope this video sort of explained what uh, the differences are between level 2 lightning and level 3 lightning Bitcoin cash you have to have a payment channel with each person with each different 
node on the network with each business uh, there's a channel you would set up between yourself and them and then after that you can stream money according to whatever rules you set up according to the smart contract that your lightning payment provider offers um, but with Bitcoin SegWit uh, you're not opening up a new channel for every new payment you're doing. You're using other people's channels. So you can clear thousands of transactions for only one transaction fee to the miners. And this is what separates people into the super nodes and the uh, regular nodes. And so that's why Bitcoin and Segway, like the fees will get massive because the super nodes get fees for, from uh, operating their lightning nodes and the other nodes do not. So... The fees on Bitcoin SegWit are going to be massive, and it's going to push everybody off for off-chain transactions. And what the one user got right in this comment is that off-chain transactions are not as secure as on-chain transactions. So you don't ever want to have your incentives pushing people for off-chain transactions. The way Bitcoin Cash pushes people for on-chain transactions is that's the only way you get the security of the network. Um, and then, obviously, if something goes wrong with your streaming channel, like that money can get locked locked up for a certain period of time. So, you know, everything like there are there are disincentives for using Bitcoin Cash Lightning channels, while there really are not for Bitcoin SegWit, and that's my issue with it. But anyways, I hope this cleared some things up. Um, there will be a couple more videos on Bitcoin Cash related things probably coming in the future. I want to go back to privacy coins and more tutorials, um, but I think I'm starting. You know, I'm doing more. Um, educational videos which is sort of the point of this uh, the, the only thing I'm gonna say about like when I talk about different uh, you know picks that I made that came true you always want to mention those and especially things like Chainlink and Bitcoin Cash nobody called out Chainlink but me nobody called out Bitcoin Cash but me so you know when you're the only one to get something right definitely let people know that's just a marketing tip just for all you people out there so that's why I kind of did, did that I want to go back to the educational videos and this is just the start of that but like I said there's a lot more coming so I hope you enjoyed this one